Welcome back. I found some really exciting information out this week and I can't wait to tell you. I'm better than I thought I was. This week I have only worked on page four because I said that's what I was gonna do, so that's what I've done. I don't think I'll get a chance to practice tomorrow, so my practice week will start on Monday again. And I'm gonna actually schedule all my practice hours in this weekend, ready for the week, so I know I'm gonna fit seven hours in. That's what I'm gonna aim for. Callum said to me, don't focus on the amount of hours you're practicing, focus on the quality of the practice. And he's so right. However, I feel like in order to move forwards, I need to be doing minimum one hour a day. And some days I do an hour and I have to stop because I've got other stuff that I have to do. And it's really some days I feel like, oh, it's not enough. I really just, I could keep going. But still I'm average. I'm averaging four to five hours of practice a week. I need to get it to seven and that's my minimum. If you're learning an instrument or if you play an instrument, Drop in the comment section below how often you practice and how long for. So last week I said I was going to change the way that I practice and I was going to split my hour session into three equal parts and that's exactly what I did. So I did 20 minute scales, 20 minute studies and then 20 minutes on page four of the partita. And by the time I got to do the partita, it was so much easier because I was fully warmed up and the main issue with the page four for me is there's quite a lot of force finger extensions in it. So the study I worked on really focused on the force finger extension. I'm gonna demonstrate. Basically, you might have a passage where you're going You've only got to go to the E string for that one note. So rather than actually transferring strings, it's better to just extend your force finger. That's something I'm still working on. There's quite a lot of that in here. What's also worked really well for me practicing consistently is I make sure that practice is the first thing that I do. So I get up, get ready, and I put my timer on for a full hour and that I do nothing else but practice. My phone goes on silent. So I've got no distractions and that's all I do. And once the hour's up, I can get on with the day. If I do manage to squeeze in more practice throughout the day, that's a bonus, but at least I've done my minimum hour. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I've done. I'm only working on page four, so that's all I'm gonna show you this week. And I'm only doing it at 60 beats per minute. There are a couple of areas in here that are really not right that I need to spend time on. I really need to break them down. I'll show you what I've done. don't know, you learn an instrument, you do grades one to eight. 
Many people usually don't go any further than that, but I think there are four diplomas. So you've got two diplomas, which are more like teaching diplomas, then you've got the LLCM and then the fellowship, and this is the LLCM level. I can't believe that information just spurred me on. Another musician that I teach with actually came in and was like, oh my god, this is the LLCM level, and I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, apparently it is. And I'm so excited about it. And it's really spurred me on, actually, to work harder because I'm, I'm better than I thought I was. I know, like, I do a lot of weddings and I do a lot of performances. So, you know, you have to be good to do that. But, like, I didn't realise that I was, like, capable of working at that level. But apparently I am. I'm so, I'm so excited about it. Eventually, I really want to learn this off by heart, but I want to make sure that all the notes are right first before I do that, because I don't want to learn it off by heart and it be wrong. So, my practice tip for this week is to make sure the studies that you're working on actually correlate with issues that you're hitting in whatever piece of music you're learning. This way, not only are you learning to improve a piece of music, you specifically targeting a technique that will sit across anything that you learn. So whenever you hit that thing, so like now for me, if I hit four finger extensions in another piece of music that I'm learning, I'll find it a lot easier than I have done with this one. That's it for this week. Have a great week.